We're just a few weeks away from the start of spring. Yes, that means wedding season and prom season. Mm -hmm. They're both almost here. Tonight, the people who operate venues to host some of life's most memorable events are ready to recoup their losses from this pandemic. KPRC 2's Roseanne Aragon continues our live team coverage tonight. She's in Tomball tonight with more. Roseanne? Yes, this venue tells me they are already going over new protocol. Their biggest concern, though, is the safety of their employees who will continue to wear PPE, but they welcome the work leaders here say it's all about balance. It's perhaps one of the most beautiful spaces in Tomball, known for breathtaking chandeliers. We do have our foyer with the biggest chandelier in Texas. And well, this is the bridal suite. The San Susi wow. Ballroom. But no doubt with COVID, this was new for everyone. Business was impacted, cancellations and postponements. And this 1,000 person venue operated at 50% capacity or less. Social distancing, wearing masks, we have been covering and protecting uh, food. After the governor issued an executive order effective March 10th, opening business to 100% capacity and not mandating masks. Our venues has been exploring new methods, new protocols, safety protocols. The goal? We need to stand together and move our economy with all precautions. The staff here will still use PPE. We will use the mask until everything, everyone will be vaccinated and we will be safe. As for guests, it's up to them. We really recommend that they must to wear masks. They must to have social distancing if they want everyone to be safe. Customers will have the final say. Ultimately, Ortiz says it's our responsibility as a society to everyone take care to the other one. It's all about balance. We cannot be behind walls. We need to keep being safe, but we need to keep work. That is they are hoping that business will pick back up. As for operating capacity, they say they generally don't ever fill a space to its max capacity. It will just depend on the nature of the event and the context of the event as well. For now, reporting live from Tomball, Roseanne Aragon, KPRC, 2 News.